Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie Transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and well, back with another unboxing video because I received mail like today and like the day before as well. So there is two like envelopes to unbox and one I'm gonna open tonight. Just back from the record store from Otaku Records, worked a shift there like uh, my usual, one of my usual Saturday shifts I do there and I've been there in the store for like, uh, I don't know, 20, 25 years roughly, maybe, probably, uh, maybe 24, I don't know, it's been too long and I've sold like a few interesting records as well. Uh, the last one of my Pink Minimalism record is gone as well, the one that I did with like no grooves on back in 2012 because I came up with that like name Pink Minimalism and wondered what could I do with that, how minimal can I go with vinyl and I decided well press a pussy pink record that is like uh, empty, blank on both sides with no grooves on and stuff and encourage people to engrave themselves. So uh, 2012 to 2022, 10 years, uh, but the very last copy I had or the store had in stock has been sold today and uh, sold a lot of interesting stuff as well otherwise and uh, looking forward to things to come. But let's go into the envelope I got which came in from Essen once again from the Umland Records label. Um, which is run by Simon Kamata. You've seen the logo a lot and there is like an interesting kind of stamp thing on there down the corner. Um, I wonder if that's kind of connected to that uh, artwork of the album that might be in here. Umland Records is a label, uh, as you might know, that has been like at home in the kind of jazz, free floating organic music realm kind of but also has like evolved into other things like into electronic music hip hop related stuff also like big band music and other stuff you've seen on my channel a lot and maybe if you check my website nightstairs.de link down in the description below there will be like a lot of reviews as well for Umland Records releases so I guess if you've been following my channel for a while you know what the score is and uh, let's dive into this I presume there is like one album in there uh, because it's pretty lightweight and uh, I am proven wrong. So there is two albums in here and uh, an empty envelope and uh, we got a little bit of a letter release sheet here. Uh, Two albums, as I said, both to come in March. No, one to come in March and one to come in January. And this is, uh, I guess, a solo debut by Simon Kamata as well, which is the head of the label, basically, and uh, or the one who is responsible for running the label with his crew and like circle of artists and one by Tunnel and Meadow, which is an act I haven't heard of. So um, let's check this out. So this looks more hip hop than jazz for sure. Simon Kamata, this is not a solo record. Umland Records 54. Uh, interesting, very urban looking. So uh, this is more like a hip hop record, I presume, even though the flip side, the back side of that um, might suggest otherwise. So um, the vibe of the, definitely the vibe of the cover is hip hop or grime, but uh, Let's see what this uh, brings. Looks like this in the city is somewhere in there and the promo sheet reveals that uh, this covers like half a year, six months of the life of Simon Kamata, probably throughout the pandemic, I guess, because, well, still going on and stuff. Uh, live recordings from two or taken on or taken off of like two Tour things, tour, tour, tour legs maybe. Uh, improvised solo on a Halloween party. Some solo tracks from the like uh, studio, like he did when he performed at like rehearsing, yeah, rehearsing room basically, and also field recordings and stuff. So a little bit, and a little bit of stuff he did on his couch. So this doesn't sound very hip hop at all, even though. It looks like hip hop, so uh, watch out for the review to come on that side. It's the easy one, Kamata. I really like the cover, and I really like the fact that those like street lights are covered in stickers because, well, you know, the score. I'm a big sticker here too, and I've always got some stickers in my pocket. So, uh, yeah, stickers are the shit, I'd say. And the next one, 
which is to come in March it is Tunnel and Meadow, simply called One. Uh, it's a duo, com no it's not a duo, it's a quartet actually comprised of Jan Klare, which is a man, like a name I recognize from the Umland Records label, Sergei Kortein, Johannes Nebel and Marvin Blumberg. And this is like a classical quartet kind of, uh, which um, kind of repeats like loops and stuff and like evolves them further at least this is what uh, what the like promo sheet kind of reveals so uh maybe there is the tunnel aspect like getting in that kind of hypnotic m realm hypnotic tunnel of sounds maybe this is where, uh, where the name of the project or the quadrant is inspired looks like this the flip side or the back reminds me of a kind of uh, logo I've seen in the past uh, and also the front so uh, but more the back kind of uh, and the logo is the Initiative für Musik which is a German institution cultural institution who provides funding for um, like music production and studio time and stuff so you can do some paperwork as an artist and then like um, ask them for funding i guess for an album they shell out about max of i guess twenty thousand euro which you have to spend on like album production studio time studio work paying musicians graphic designers so you don't have to or you don't get to keep some uh, of the money for yourself but uh, all that money has to go into the album production and if your concept is like i don't know approved kind of for what reason ever they are shelling out money to you like to get your album or your project done but uh, usually if uh, they were involved their logo would be on the back which it isn't so i guess uh, they are not involved in here but uh, yeah Oblad records busy as ever i guess uh, the first two releases for 2022 actually uh, looking forward to review them like down in the description box you will find the link to night CE and stuff and also to other things i do more radio is coming up uh, soon on 27th of January. I'm going to have my first show on Radio Fluka this year. And I'm looking forward to another great 12 months with the guys and stuff. Uh, still feel honored that I'm on there like for two and a half years right now. So, no, two and a half years, one and a half years right now. So uh, as a regular guest and con uh, contributor to their radio program and stuff. The next one will be special, more like new beat and like industrial vibes and I got a lot of special things in mind for this year so let's see how this goes and now I'm going to go into editing mode stop rambling and stuff and I'm going to see you in the next one see you later